Jesus is the way. Those who follow are in the way. And it's amazing, it truly is amazing. As we follow Jesus, we see a, a new lesson, new understanding every day. And I would like to share with you some of what God has done in my life just these past few days. You see, when, when we are in the way, when we are following Christ, it follows that, that we will be followed, pursued, and attacked by Satan. And those attacks are real, and they are painful. And when we go through them, it seems like maybe they are the worst possible thing that can happen to us. We're seldom correct about that. We are often mistaken. You see, two days ago, two demonic possessed people set out to publicly attack and publicly destroy the ministry that God has called me to. It was their objective to make sure that, that, that I never had an opportunity to stand before anyone and speak of the joy and the wonder and the awe of being spirit-filled. It was interesting that as they launched their attack, I had a lot of options. I was able to call friends to come and stand by me, and, and they did. And with the aid of, of these friends, these fellow believers, these fellow travelers in the way, the demon-possessed were overwhelmed and soon retreated. When it was done, I was able to physically and spiritually and emotionally separate myself from these people so that they could not reach back into my life. And that makes it so easy, comparatively. Grace and I have recently entered the prison ministry. We go into the women's prison in Pocatello, Idaho, and have an opportunity to share the good news of Jesus Christ with these ladies. It is easy, I think, for those who don't know them to think of them as the dregs and the cast-offs of society. They are not. They are beautiful, beautiful creations in Christ. They have a longing to know Him, and they are reaching out to Him in such beautiful ways. It's, it's unbelievable to see. But yet... They have their struggles too. The demons are in that place. And they are in that place in a way that we never experience. Last night I met one beautiful woman who loves God and is doing everything in her power to be spirit-filled. And yet she rooms with two other women who daily read the Satanic Bible out loud. Those evil demon-filled words are spoken into her ears and into her mind every day. She can't separate herself as I did. She can't call on people to stand by her and strengthen her as I did. She is trapped in that place and she cannot escape. Constant daily exposure to demons. But is there any place that God won't go? Is there any place so dark, so low, so deep, that God won't go there, that Jesus won't enter in to redeem his people? That is the beauty of this God, is he will go everywhere and anywhere. Dear God, Shine your light into her life this day and always. God, keep her in the way. And dear God, forgive me when I whine, for I do not yet know the true destructive power of Satan in my life. As difficult as things are in the prison, I got to stand back in awe 
and watch God work in the life of one beautiful young woman. You see, Grace and I, while our program has been approved in the ministry, we are not yet scheduled and we're waiting for that time when we will be able to bring our program to these women. And so we go as guests of Reverend Jim Jones. We call him Rev because, well, who wants to be Reverend Jim Jones? Uh, or <laughs> at least be associated with that maniac. But uh, anyway, we call him Rev and, and his beautiful red-headed wife, Sparky. I'll tell you, she is, she is named correctly. That, that woman is Sparky. We go with them and uh, we sat with a group of young women and we spoke of God. And I had an opportunity and, and Grace had an opportunity to share a little bit, but it's Sparky and Rev's program and so they kind of carried the program. But I, I kept looking across our little circle of people and there was one young woman and I could see something there that troubled me. I could see that the light of Christ wasn't in her. My friend Rev noticed the same, I think. Well, no, I know. Because as we prepared to end the day, he stood and he walked over to her. He asked her, have you asked Jesus to be in your life? Have you surrendered your life to him? And she said, no, not really. Rev said, would you like to? Her eyes became a flood. Her face was instantly deformed with all of this emotion. She couldn't speak. Her chest was tight. It was shaking. and All she could do was nod her head, and she did. Rev knelt before her, took her by the hands, and they prayed. And this beautiful young woman accepted Christ into her life. In that terrible place, Christ walks with her now. It is amazing to see God move in the lives of people. And so I present this to you today and I ask a special, a special favor of you. These women that you don't know are cherished and beautiful in God's eyes. He loves them, as do I. Will you pray for them? Will you remember them every day? Lift them up to God, that the light of Christ may shine in even the darkest places. And lift up and lift out those who are lost. This is my prayer and my petition to you. In the name of my God, Jesus Christ, amen.